Folks, HBCU News, a scathing New York Times opinion article suggests a for-profit law school is scamming students at Bethune-Cookman University yeah. in Florida. The article talks about the new deal between the university and Arizona Summit Law School, a joint scholarship program between the schools will send Bethune-Cookman students and students from other HBCUs to the law school. Yet this, this article is very critical about that school's students passing the LSAT, uh, saying that they don't prepare them properly for law school. So the real question is, uh, it, why did Bethune Cookman make this deal and is it a good deal for their students not only when it comes to economics but also the ability to be able to graduate. Joining us on Skype from Daytona Beach is Judge Hebert Grimes, counsel for Bethune Cookman University, also Dr. Randy Nelson, the program coordinator of the Criminal Justice Graduate Program and on Skype in New York is Ellie Mistel who wrote the piece the New York Times and editor of Above the Law. Uh, I'll start with you, uh, Elliot. Uh, why do you have a problem with this deal? Because um, it's not a good deal for Bethune-Cookman students. Um, Arizona Summit is a for-profit law school. Um, in the July 2016, it posted a 25% pass rate for first-time test takers. That's simply not good enough, and I think Bethune-Cookman can do a lot better for its students. Uh, and uh, when you say do a lot better, uh, also cost is an issue because it's going to cost a lot more for the students to actually attend this school. Arizona Summit charges $45,000 a year in tuition. That does not co count the cost of living in Phoenix. That does not count the cost of moving from Florida to Phoenix. Um, and there are simply better and cheaper options closer to home um, in Florida. Uh, Bethune-Cookman, uh, your response? Thank you, Roland. This is Hubert Grimes. Uh, and in fact, um, the response that we would give to that is, of course, that you didn't have all the facts. The uh, reality is, is that Bethune Cookman has a number of partnerships with not only for-profit but nonprofit organizations around the country in a variety of ways. In addition to that, that's only one part of what we're attempting to do here. The criminal justice uh, division and major is our largest group of majors, 700 students. Uh, our president, Dr. Jackson, began an initiative uh, a couple years ago in an effort to try to come up with some alternatives that would help our students to increase their career placement options and begin to also explore social justice issues that also impact our society. As a part of our big picture, this particular uh, partnership with Arizona Summit is designed to provide scholarship assistance to students. Somehow I believe the author may have missed that because the, the deal is for a full scholarship for each one of the students that meet the criteria, and but, those students would in turn get the support but, service they need to be able to be successful. But Randy, I gotta ask you though, again, are you concerned about the, the passage rate of the students coming out of this law school, the LSAT, the whole point is to go there and graduate and become a lawyer? Oh, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, I think the passage rate is very, very important uh, aspect of it. The, the issue here for me is that that passage rate was last year. So even here in our Florida, if you look at law schools, passage rates go up and down. It's very it's, fluid. So that's one. But the other issue for me is it's a full ride scholarship, living expenses. So the only thing a student Bethune Cookman University have to pay for is a plane ticket to Arizona. All the other costs are paid for. Uh, in, Ellie, in, Ellie, in point, go ahead. In point of fact, in point of fact, the pass rate in 2016 was 25 percent. In 2015, it was 40 percent, and in 2014, it was 51 percent. So we're not talking about a school with a good uh, uh, success rate here on preparing students to actually pass the bar. Moreover, we're talking about a school. These are the pass rates for the bar in Arizona, where Arizona Summit is located. So for a Bethune Cookman student to go to Arizona, we're talking about kind of the, that 25 percent represents Got somewhat it. of a of a high mark. Um, we don't know what their passage rate will be if they try to go to school in Arizona and then come back to Florida, let's say, to pass the Florida bar. In terms of the scholarship, I did, I did note it. Uh, real quick, real quick, Elliot. Sure. No, you got tw 20 seconds. Go ahead, real quick. Go oh, ahead. yeah. Uh, in terms of the scholarship, the better thing to do for Bethune-Cookman students would be to provide free LSAT prep courses for all of their students. That is what's going to raise their score, and that is what's going to give them the opportunity to go to any law schools, including Gentlemen, law schools better than Arizona Summit. Actually, hold tight one second. Uh, uh, so I'm actually out of time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue the conversation and tape this and air the rest of this discussion on Monday. So hold tight one second. Going to a break. Back on News 1 now in just a moment. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot to kill by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us.
Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focused on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.